Hey guys, Andrew McComb here, the founder and CEO of Golf University. In this Golf University tip from the pro, I'm with David Milne, the two-time PGA Teacher of the Year and co-coach of the Indonesian team. We're at the Jundalup Golf Resort in Perth, Western Australia, and David's gonna teach us how to get more distance with our driver. If you haven't watched video one or video two in this Driving Mastery series, you can watch them here and here. And before we start this video, and if you haven't done so already, I encourage you to subscribe and hit the bell icon below so that I can notify you every time a new episode is released. And if you stick around until the end of this episode, I'm gonna give you access to our famous Golf University Skill Assessment, which has helped thousands of our members, just like you, find and fix the one thing that's killing your golf scores, your handicap, and your game. Plus, we'll give you free access to the specific video coaching program from one of our world-class golf instructors so that you can feel more confident, consistent, and in control of this area of your game. But before I help you find and fix this area of your game, let's find out how to get more distance with our driver. This tip from the pro brought to you by Golf University, the world's premier golf improvement program. David, with such a powerful club, why does the amateur golfer still struggle for distance? That's a really good question. I've got something to show you and, and the viewers of how they can remedy that. So let's get to the first tee. If you like most golfers who struggle getting distance with their driver, what I'd like you to do first up is to actually find out where you're losing the power in your swing. For most golfers, it's initiating the downswing with the upper body and arms from the top. And when you do that, your power or speed of your swing will be well before the golf ball and by the time you get there uh, your club is actually decelerating. So this simple exercise or uh, test here will allow you to find out are you starting the downswing and losing all your power too early in the, in the, uh, in the first part of the backswing. So turn a club around. Now from here just make some swings. And if you find the sound is well below the, before the golf ball, you're gonna find that you're gonna have a big power leak and therefore lose a lot of distance. Now what I want you to do here is to now change that. Instead of starting it with your upper body and arms, let's see if we can get you to, before you get to the top of your backswing, just before, is to actually start the downswing with your lower body. So if you can learn to do that and allow your arms to be nice and soft, you will get the swish closer to the ball or even past it, right? So important to remember when you're doing this drill, hear where the sound is, not there, it's well past the ball. If you can learn to do that, you will be able to increase your club head speed at the right time, which is down at the bottom of the golf ball. So I'm gonna hit a shot here and you will see how as I about to reach the top of my backswing, those hips are going to start and it's not a big drive with the hips, it's just a little bump, and that will allow the arms to fall into the right position and the acceleration point of your swing will be perfect. So set up, making sure you're in a position here to be able to deliver the club with a nice shallow angle of attack. Complete your backswing. And if you can learn to do that, you are really going to be able to increase the distance of your driver for one simple reason is the speed of the swing and the club face squaring up is in the right place. Well, there it is. I hope you've enjoyed this Golf University tip from the pro. Put a yes in the comments below if you found it useful or ask a question in the comments if you need even more help. And as promised earlier, we want to help you find and fix the one thing that's killing your golf scores, your handicap and your game. So to access the Golf University skill assessment and free video coaching program, go to golfuniversity.tv forward slash golf skill assessment, or click the link in the description below. And to help you feel even more confident, consistent, and in control of your golf game, I also wanna personally invite you to join our 19th hole clubhouse and golf channel. This is where our passionate and inspiring members belong to watch, learn, grow, meet, and share inspiration as golfers. You can join the 19th hole for free at the19thhole.club or click the link in the description below. 
As a member, you'll have access to hundreds of golf lessons, travel episodes, and documentaries. Plus, you'll get member-only discounts on our golf schools, tournaments, travel, tours, and signature programs. And if you're a golf addict like myself, you can also join our members-only Facebook group by clicking the link in the description below. And remember, if you've enjoyed this lesson, or you'd like to ask some questions, or maybe you've even got a suggestion for another episode, then leave a like and a comment below, and my coaches and I will do our best to answer them for you. And if you've got any golfing friends who'd benefit from this lesson, hit the share buttons below. And remember to hit the subscribe and the bell icon below too, so that I can notify you every time a new episode is released. Thanks for watching, sharing, and commenting, guys. I'll see you in the 19th hole.